go. Fresh decks, bro. You be hitting them with them bars low key. You feel me on no dreadlock reviews, bro. You got the bars low key. Go ahead and spit something for me real quick. I be, I got you. Listen, listen, listen. Look at this cube and it's shining. Look at this cube and it's shining. Look at this cube and it's shining. Why these bitches be lying? Why these bitches be crying? Listen, I ain't got no status, but I got hella drip. Bitch, don't get it twisted. I got your bitch on my dick. I got your bitch on my tip. Pick my dick on her lip. Yo, hey, nigga. When I talk about YouTube, I got hella clout, I got hella views, bitch don't get it confused, uh, yo, ay. Bitch, I'm living in my mama house, trying to get this back on YouTube, fuck you talking about. Yo, man, hey man, say man, back it again with another Dreadlock review, man, it's your boy Fresh Dex, y'all already know who it is, bro. Go ahead, hit that post notification. Go ahead, and like up the video. You feel me? Run them views up. Subscribe. Don't be watching my videos like a weirdo. You feel me? No cap. I need my clout tokens up. You feel me? You feel me? All right, bro. That being said, y'all already read the name in this video, bro. We gonna be talking about my boy, Playboy Cardi. Okay, guys, we're going to be um, reviewing my boy Playboy Cardi dreadlocks, starting off from the beginning to how his dreadlocks look currently. All right, but before I get into that, bro, shout out to my boy Notlocks for just aspiring my dreadlock channel in general. You feel me? I feel like he really gave me the torch when it came to dreadlock reviews. I don't know if you guys seen his recent videos, but that basically was what he was talking about, just getting someone else to take over most of his platform. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm about to take over the game. You feel me? When it comes to these dreadlock reviews. And uh, he basically just inspired um, this channel and just uh, birthed the channel. So shout out to you. You know what I'm saying? He has a nice set of freeform dreadlocks as well. Um, I was definitely uh, interested in uh, him just uh, getting his freeform dreadlocks with his hair type. So yeah, it really came together nicely. And yeah, shout out to that man because he really inspired my channel and inspired me just to get into dreadlock content. Another person I would like to give a huge shout out to is my boy Gunther the Grey. He definitely inspired this channel as well and taught me a lot about dreadlocks when it comes to dreadlock content in general. Can't wait till he get his nice set of semi-freeform dreadlocks and just get his dreadlocks back in general. But anyways, that being said, bro, I gotta do it. Intro! Okay, guys, just starting off, check out my boy, uh, Cardi. This was back in 2011, you know what I'm saying? My boy rocking the, uh, basically a taper, pretty much at this point in time. This is as short as I've ever seen his uh, hair in general. But in this picture right here, you can see him actually starting off the little mini twist, just starting off his uh, freeform dreadlocks. It appears to look really freeform at this state of time, but it looks like he uh, went up just a little bit on the little taper that he had uh, previously. Cause it looks like it's similar to a high top, but it doesn't go as high. So it's like similar to like a drop fade, but uh, it's coming together nicely. You see the little mini twist that he has going on at this point in time. It kind of looks like he's using a dreadlock sponge just a little bit, but kind of not at the same time. Cause it looks more uh, free form than anything else. And it looks like he's doing more of the finger twist than uh, using the dreadlock sponge. All right, so you guys may be asking what's his hair type. So getting into his hair type, I believe his hair type is a four A, just judging from his tight curl pattern. Okay, guys, just moving on to this picture right here. You can see my boy rocking the free forms. His hair is getting a lot longer at this point in time. 
You can see my boy rocking the um, hairstyle at this point. He got like two pigtails on the side, but his um, hair is still more of the same length. At this point in time, I feel like he was definitely going truly free for him because he allowing his hair to like kind of go up just a little bit. I guess he noticed how thin his dreadlocks was gonna come out. So he started to like really uh, free form and not um, touch his hair or manipulate it at all. But I swear, I looked at this picture and I found it very interesting because I swear it looks like they have the same exact hair, bro. Like no cap, the same hair texture and everything. That's really crazy. Uh, you really look at this uh, image right here. All right, man. Um, anyways, going back to uh, my boy Cardi Locks, you can see him getting the length is going crazy right now. Uh, definitely the free form is going crazy. He has some very interesting Congos, as you guys can see from this uh, picture right here. And uh, yeah, he's just rocking that look overall with the free form. He has a nice set of free form dreadlocks. I believe Playboy Cardi's dreadlocks uh, is coming out fire so far and it's basically semi free form at this uh, stage of his dreadlock journey. Um, be just because Cardi starts off with skinny finger twist dreadlocks, but then over time I guess he realized how skinny his dreadlocks was going to be. So he started to combine his uh, dreadlocks to different unique congos. Um, like the three-headed dragons as you guys can see in this picture right here He's rocking some of the three-headed dragons a lot of Congos here and there just letting his hair go a little wild a little crazy You know what I'm saying bracing the freeform look is coming out fire so far. No cap I feel like his Congos are unique in his own way. That's why a lot of people uh, gravitate towards uh, my boy Cardi uh, dreadlocks Guys, um, if you guys want to get, you know what I'm saying, your lock similar to uh, my boy Playboy Cardi, um, will be a great method is just allowing your hair just to congo up and uh, develop a lot of congos. Because I see why he did that, because um, ultimately that develops a lot more thicker, stronger dreadlocks. So you won't have to depend on that one strand of dreadlocks that's thinning out if you uh, do too much manipulation towards your scalp. Uh, yeah, that can tend to happen a lot too, you know, thinning of the um, uh, dreadlocks. So, uh, yeah, just kind of going your hair up or just combining your dreadlocks. That's definitely a great method to get thicker dreadlocks. So, that's uh, I believe that's why uh, my boy Playboy Cardi went with that method. So, uh, yeah, that's definitely a great method, guys. Definitely will recommend that. Okay, guys, just checking out this picture right here. Look at my boy Playboy Cardi rocking the fish bones. You feel me? The braids coming back. Kind of similar to my boy XSX Natashian. Really dope, little dope hairstyle. You can definitely tell that your dreadlocks are getting very lengthy once you can actually do braids in general. So, uh, overall, my boy Playboy Cardi just rocking that look. It uh, looks dope on him, to be honest with you guys. Another thing that I noticed about Playboy Cardi's dreadlocks is, well, hair in general is very thick. And he wears his dreadlocks in front of his face a lot, kind of like a lot of the other rappers out there. It's a dope look overall, but, uh, you know, uh, that can really draw in, like, a lot of pimples and acne and uh, a lot of grease and everything from your, you know, greasy hair being in front of your face the whole entire time. But, you know, it's an image. It's a look, bro. It's the swag, the drip, whatever they want to call it. But, um... Yeah, overall, I feel like that's a dope look, too. I ain't gonna lie. It, it just look cool overall, just wearing your dreadlocks in front of your face. But, you know, you just gotta make sure to keep your face clean while you're doing that look. That's all I have to say about that. If you guys look really close to my boy Cardi's um, hair in general, he has a very tight curl pattern. So that makes it really easier for your hair just to lock up in general. Found that very interesting. Okay guys, but getting to this picture you guys see right here, my boy's just rocking the two strand twist. His length is definitely getting there, no cap. I feel like he's stopping at his nose at this point. Yeah, he's definitely getting that crazy hang time for sure. Another thing that I found interesting about my boy Playboy Cardi's dreadlock journey is that he allowed his dreadlocks to start off as being freely free form and then he went into it with uh, separation just to get his dreadlocks to drop a lot faster. 
Okay guys, just checking out this picture right here. This is um, just the next stage of his dreadlock journey. Um, at this point in time, he decided to bleach his dreadlocks, kind of like a dark red color. I found that color very interesting just because it's not too many rappers out there nowadays that's going to bleach their hair like a dark color. It's usually just a bright out there color. And Cardi decided to go with the darker tone color. So it kind of looks like in certain lighting, his hair is still kind of black, but it's not because it has a tint of red. So it's like a dark red. But overall, that color came out dope. The two strand twist came out dope as well. Nice protected hairstyle. Definitely recommend you guys get into that hairstyle. You have dreadlocks. Um, yeah, definitely dope. His hair is definitely lengthy at this point. He definitely getting that length for sure. It ain't time too crazy. I feel like it's about to touch his shoulders maybe soon or like the back of his neck, one or the other. But overall, he uh, it seems like he's not rocking his hair in his face anymore from these pictures that's coming up now, as you guys can see. So uh, he's just switching up the look just a little bit. And I guess he's getting to the point um, he's tired of having all the hair in his face. Okay guys, just check out this picture right here. My boy finally decided to bleach his hair again, but he's decided to bleach all of his hair, and including the scalp blonde. So we've seen a lot of rappers from here and there do this look a lot for some reason. I guess it's like a trend or something like that, but I've been seeing it way too many times. So hopefully he go with a different color in the future. But other than that, I find it very interesting to see that um, his uh, dreadlocks are bleached and um, it's just interesting to see the bleaching process in general all the way to the scalp with uh, dreadlocks and it just because some people may know what they're doing but some other people may not know what they're doing just it just looks like that my, my boy Cardi you feel me like it looks like his hair looks kind of damaged now since he went with bleaching his hair like he did um, I'm not sure if he had to bleach him for too long or something happened to make it look like it's kind of thin and brittle just a little bit. It doesn't look as healthy as it looked when he had it dark red. That's basically what I'm trying to say. But we've seen people dye their hair a lot, like a couple times. Like for example, okay guys, for example, my girl Jimmy Got Soul. She don't need no introduction. I know y'all know who she is. You know what I'm saying? My girl Jimmy Got Soul. She a YouTuber. She do straight up dreadlock content. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to her channel. You feel me? Gang gang, you feel me? But anyways, for example, my girl Jimmy Got Soul. You know what I'm saying? She actively bleach her hair sometimes. So she has this conditioning uh, routine that she does so she can um, restore her dreadlocks to what it used to be before, you know, to the best of her ability. So I would definitely recommend if you guys want to get um, similar dreadlocks to my boy Playboy Cardi and you go into the bleaching route as well, just make sure your dreadlocks are well conditioned so you won't have any side effects of, for example, thinning and uh having brittle uh, dreadlocks in general. So I would definitely recommend um, you setting yourself up with some conditioning uh, routine. You may have to look up some videos and everything to get on that. Or, you know, I say I can make a video for y'all. You feel me? No cap. You feel me? Um, but anyways, you want that? Let me know something in the comment section down below. I got y'all boys. You feel me? But anyways, have a great conditioning routine just to restore your dreadlocks um, after bleaching it. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and break down the method my boy Playboy Cardi chose. He chose the freeform method, and then he chose the maintenance method, but he may have went into it with the finger twist or the dreadlock sponge. All right, a lot of y'all boys in the comment section down below may be asking the same question, bro. How can I get my dreadlocks like my boy Playboy Cardi? You feel me? All right, so I so happen to sell Playboy Cardi dreadlocks. So y'all want to get Playboy Cardi dreadlock wigs, bro. I got y'all. Okay, guys, I was just playing with y'all boys. But a lot of y'all boys in the comment section down below may be asking the same question. How can I get my dreadlocks like my boy Playboy Cardi? So let me simply break that down for y'all boys. All right, but anyways, okay, so you can just start off with um, allowing your hair just to freeform. And just freeform to the point that you develop a lot of congos if you wanted to really match up with, to Playboy Cardi. And this method may not work, just depending on your hair type. 
Uh, so it all depends. If you more of the four hair type, it, yeah, it'll work a lot better than you being in two or one. So that being said, um, after that step, you just go into the maintenance route with twisting with gel. And of course, the last step is just bleaching your dreadlocks. So remember just to restore your dreadlocks after you bleach your dreadlocks. That being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video. I enjoyed um, just observing my boy Playboy Cardi's dreadlock journey. Um, thank you for requesting this video. Um, that being said, it's your boy Fresh Dex. Make sure to um, comment, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I'm going to see y'all boys on the next banger, bro, the next video. On the road to 1K. And we out of here, bro. Peace. I'm out of here.